everybody welcome back it's Michelle and I'm here for crafting on a budget and for the store crafting on a budget store.com where you can get all of your scrapbook needs and more mixed media you name it may has it I wanted to show my design team package and some of the stuff that I am definitely going to be using um, so that if you want to create along with me you'll have the stuff that you're ready and I know she has plenty in stock. Um, so let's get to it. This is the first collection I'll be using. First of all, I just wanted to tell you she has score tape. And she has it in every size imaginable. Um, it was so funny because when I was uh, talking to her, I said, um, oh, I need, I need to get score tape. And she's like, what size? I have like every size. <laughs> um, I like to use the quarter inch, but there's all different sizes. And I will tell you now, <laughs> and I don't want to ever be the one to like talk bad about a company. So I won't say the company's name, but I will say that there is definitely a difference in score tape. And not all score tape is alike. You've seen me on my last videos using a score tape. And I did say a couple times I wasn't real fond of it. I'm not fond of it at all to be perfectly honest and this is the score tape you want to get this holds the best it holds your biggest books it doesn't there's no drama with it it, it everything stays on I mean I made books because I didn't stop crafting just because I stopped videoing I didn't stop crafting so I've made projects um, and I really started really loving using the paper projects, some, some with lace, some without. Um, but I started using this score tape, and then I found a different score tape, and I said, oh, let me try that. And it was a complete failure disaster. Um, so I used that on little projects. I usually add some glue to it just because I don't want to waste what's left of it, which I don't have much left of it, as you can see. Um, but for my projects that I'm going to work on going forward, I will be using this score tape and May has this, like I said, in several sizes. So you will be able to get the size that you are most comfortable with um, working with. And like I said, not all score tapes are the same. And I found that out. I really thought that, you know, it's a score tape, you know, what's the big deal? But it really is a big deal. So just wanted to give you that information because I know I would like to know that information if I was, you know, new or just starting out or just wanted to, um, you know, make something and I never used score tape before. I'd want to know what the best one is. So go to www.craftingonabudgetstore.com and just type in score tape, S-C-O-R dash tape, and you will see all the different sizes will come up and you'll be able to get what you want. So moving on to all these amazing papers that I'm going to be working with. First of all, this is the first time I've ever had in my possession any paper from Chow Bella. And first of all, I just absolutely love the name Chow Bella. That's how I would say it um, because I'm Italian. And of course, this is made in Italy and I am just in love with it. First of all, this paper is, you can hear it, it's, it's got some heft to it, and I love it. It's so smooth. It, it's really amazing, amazing paper. What I love about this paper already, and I did take a sneak peek, and I know May showed this, but I want to show them again because sometimes you don't really see all the details when somebody has to show so many different paper pads at once. Um, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to still show it again. Um, what I love about this is you see how on the, the main page you have these images and there's no watermarks in these images. There's no Chow Bella written across here. The only Chow Bella part is down here in this little area down here. And you see there's a line there. Well, if you flip this over, you'll see that the same line is here. So they've utilized the cover piece, the introduction piece, and given you tags, 
little wording, some more tags, and these beautiful snow-covered trees. And I don't know if you can see this or not, but just a pop of sun coming out of the winter trees. It's so incredibly beautiful. And you can also, if you, well, no, you really couldn't because you'd want to use those tags. But you can even use these little baby pieces. Now, if, now, if, you, if you use the tags, you can't. But you can use every picture on here as an additional tag or insert or flap or whatever you want to do with it. And it automatically has these trees on the back. So I think that that is pretty genius. I love that. I love that about this company i knew i was going to love this company and may's been telling me where do you feel it lady it's just it's it's so smooth it is awesome so this pa paper pad has one each of 12 double-sided papers so look at this oh my gosh i love this paper it says the world changes when it snows see very faintly up there and then you have some branches here with some snow covered little blue nests but then you have this detailing in here in the paper like a stenciling that ha that's happening you have this adorable house with the little picket fence and this beautiful tree and then you have this little watering can that's filled with evergreen and blue jays and for those of you who don't know uh blue jay was my grandmother's uh favorite bird um she used to yell at the squirrels all the time because the squirrels would try to get into her bird feeder, which was um, when you looked out her, her window in her kitchen, if you were washing dishes, there was a tree and a bird feeder. And the squirrels <laughs> would run up to the bird feeder and, and eat away at the hole till they made it big enough for them to go in. And so the blue jays and them would always be fighting. Um, so my grandmother would would get so aggravated with that um, because she just loved looking at the blue jays and it's so interesting because we me and Belle see them all the time and also down here I don't know if you can see I just really want you to get an appreciation of with the detail of the paper there's some crackle and then here's some music notes and here's some snowflakes so I just really you know I really want you to get a feel of the paper itself you know, it's not, there. there's nothing boring or plain. There's more music notes. It is so beautifully put together, the layering of the stenciling and the colors and the, uh, you know, the music and the crackle and everything. It is just breathtaking. These snowflakes, I don't know if you'll be able to see. Yeah, I think you'll see. They are beautiful. And it's not overdone. It's not like you're like, wow, look at all those snowflakes. No, it's not like that. It's very muted. And that's what I think makes this collection very beautiful. The reverse side of this is this frosty blue and it's music notes. And it is beautiful. And I'll bring it up so that you can see. Wait for my camera to kind of show you. It's a little... A little blurry maybe that's better it's gorgeous trust me now this page is the cut apart page and here we have those kind of same things that were on the cover but more of them so we have a little blue jay with his little lantern and again we have that stenciling in the back it just kind of they're bringing everything it's so cohesive this collection um here we have a sleigh and it's loaded with blankets and a little house back here in this beautiful tree we have another like a postcard kind of a thing with the um little watering can again and again, you see that picket fence back there. And it's interesting because when you first look at it, sometimes you even miss those details because it's so muted, but it's beautiful. We have this beautiful round piece here that would be awesome for an ornament. And that's probably what we're going to do with it. We have tags. We have words that say winter, December, January, February. This has icicles on it. This has that wood grain on it. It's just so magnificent. And look at the back of this paper. 
I love it. It is dots like paint splatters and hearts. And you know, I love hearts and polka dots. So this is fabulous. I absolutely love this page. It is so pretty. The next one, this one says the snow is sparkling, sparkling like a million little suns. Oh, how cute. I always say that this, the snow looks like diamonds on my front yard when it snows because it just sparkles so much but look at the birds oh my gosh oh my gosh look at the wheel the vintage wheel that's just laying next to some trees and i think these are white birch trees if i'm not mistaken and you have this beautiful bird in flight and we have the crackling we have wording script writing behind that um script writing over here we again have some stenciling going on we have the crackle a lot of script writing on this one and then this page has a border and the blue jays and pine cones it is lovely it's so lovely and look at the back i got my two favorites i got polka dots and hearts i'm in love with this this actually has big polka dots and little polka dots and they're all kind of just put in together but so muted but beautiful oh i just love this i just love this this collection is gorgeous and then look at this oh my gosh look at this page um this is like a wood grain kind of a look to it and then you have all of your evergreen and pine cones up here that are snow covered and we have those snowflakes that you can barely barely see but they're there you can see right there you can barely see them and then we have our skis and our little bobsled and there's a door here and there's a, a little like blanket ladder here um and another corner piece of the pine cones and everything it's just it's just screams winter and then the back of this is all the wood grain and it does have like speckles of um looks like spatter paint spatter throughout it the colors are so muted and so beautiful i just love this and this is a great book because it doesn't scream christmas this is winter this is hot chocolate snowy days this does not this does not to me translate as christmas at all and i think that's what i love about it because i i'm going to be making christmas books as we know um but this is is just it's toned down so it's not not um christmas at all which i love because it, it's just different it, it's so different than any other any other line that that we have here are these beautiful evergreen again with the pine cone there's these blue berries not blue berries as in blueberries but they're blue berries um there's also that script, muted script writing throughout the back there's music notes here we have the house again with the picket fence and in front we have the the uh, sled and the ice skates which are so adorable and then here we have a little bench and this is where your little hot chocolate would be while you're outside building your snowman that's so that's how i think of when i look at this page and you can see really good here the script writing it's just beautiful just just beautiful i love it and then the back oh this is pretty this is another wood grain a little bit different than the other one and this has script writing on it really pretty really really pretty i love this collection i love it and you know what i like too is it's proportionate and what i mean is like if if there's something up front here how do I explain this? If there's something up front here that's big, this needs to be small. If this was the same size as this, it would not look right. Um, and and a lot of times artists, when they when they do their papers, you know, it, sometimes they forget to size things properly, and then it's like you have this gigantic house. Well, then that wouldn't be 
that big you know you know what i'm saying so everything is done in awesome proportion and sizing these look like what we used to call punks when we were little i don't know what they're actually called but we used to call those um pieces that shot up like that punks um and they're snow covered and then there's this crackle again and then here we have the music notes and this beautiful tree we have another tree a house we have the the sleigh with the little lantern again the music notes going and then we also have the faint icicles across which are so beautiful so you really have a lot oh wow look at the back of this this is really, really pretty. That is lovely. Really nice. I love that. I love that because it's a solid, you know, it's so, it's more solid than all the other stuff, which has been very muted. So this I really like um, to add, you know, that's beautiful. It's so beautiful. And I'm glad I'm showing it again because I, I just... I think sometimes, you know, you want to, you want to see it closer and longer. You know what I mean? So for me, I do. I don't know. Maybe you guys don't and you can fast forward or, or, you know, click off, you know that. Um, but I like to give you my review of it, what I love about it. If there's something I don't like about it, you'll, you'll hear it from me as you guys know. This has all little calendars which is really sweet and it's got the lanterns and the blue jays and you have january february december um those are the actual calendar days months that they have on here so sweet and then the back of this oh this is nice look at this guys so you have two that are a little less muted but my um camera adjust but you'll you see that that's so pretty it's like a gray but like a mm, clay like a clayish gray if that makes any sense like if you were using pottery clay and then you added a lot of white to it this is what you get and again the paint spatters of all white on this one is just beautiful so pretty and then we have ooh, look at this oh my gosh i love this page oh wow i i love this page it, i don't even know where to start okay we have the little blue jay and the lantern and then we have a border we have a tree we have our icicles going across but then look at all of this imprinting done in the back of snowflakes and almost looks like poinsettias poinsettias is that how you say i say poinsettias but it probably is poinsettias and then you have it done in blue and you have your music notes but then down here where the color changes you have the watermark or the, these these stamped pieces done in white it's really very smart and beautiful i love how that's done and then i love this fence with the birds on it i just can see you traveling down this little lane here to your little house it's just oh so beautiful and then look at the back now the back has that same stamping of the the snowflakes and the poinsettias that i saw on the front here but they're more pronounced here and it is gorgeous look at that stunning absolutely stunning and then we have oh we still have more look at this oh these are so cute this is just the background. There's like a little water fountain. There's birds on a branch, a little birdhouse. There's the um, uh, watering can, the lantern again. And it kind of just repeats itself all over. It's so cute. I love that. And the back of this one is beautiful because it, this one is different. It's got that blue tone with with white definitely so they faded it out in areas and then they have the paint spatter 
But what you don't see, and maybe if I bring it in close, you can see. I'm looking on the computer as I'm trying to show you, and I'm not really able to see it. If I hold it down. Yes, if I hold it down, right here you can see it's all a grid pattern. The whole page is a grid, grid lines. It's so cool. It is really, really cool there. You can see the grid. See it? Oh, there you can see it better there. It's all grid lines. That is so neat. I love that. I just love that. This is going to be a beautiful album. And then, oh, wait, got two more pages. We have this page here, which are elements. Um, you also have your border, which you could have two borders if you wanted. Um, we have the wheel, we have the sleigh, the blue jays, pine cones, our little hot chocolate setup, the lantern. We even have an owl here. We have our skis. Um, we have everything we need for our little log cabin, which I love. These, the, these elements are beautiful. And then on the reverse side of this, we have an interesting page. This is all stripes and it's all the colors of um the papers all the colors that are in the papers they put as pinstriping which is really cool i love that love that page music notes oh my gosh and there's writing like autumn arrives in early morning but spring at the close of a winter day nothing burns like the cold it's time for home to appreciate the beauty of a snowflake, it is necessary to stand out in the cold. I love that. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, that's all the verses. Oh, wait. In the depths of winter, I finally learned that, that there was in me an invisible summer. Oh, that's cool. So this is really pretty. It's very muted. I would say it's more like grayish tones, but it's got beautiful snowflakes. And I don't know if you can see the snowflake. Can you bring it up? Yeah, you can see some of the snowflakes and it's got the crackle. There's another big snowflake there. Absolutely beautiful music page. It's going to be hard to cut this collection up, but we're going to. And then on the back here, we have some more of our favorite little um, images, which is again, the, the fountain, the little birdhouse. We have the sled with the ice skates. We have the watering can. We have the birds on the branch. Um, just beautiful. So beautiful. So there you have it, guys. There's the whole collection. I hope that you enjoyed looking at it with me. Um, I absolutely love it. Again, it's called Time for Home by Chow Bella. And this is a special limited edition. So I'm um, assuming that when it's sold out, she probably will not get any more in. So I would scoop this up if I were you, um, because I think that you're going to really love this. I know we'll make something beautiful with it. It's, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. This Chow Bella paper, I'm, I don't know if any of you have worked with their paper or not, but it's really, really pretty. I love it. And it's it's got such a nice feel and a weight to it. I, I really think you should get this, guys. I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't steer you wrong. Trust me. I wouldn't steer you wrong. And this is just really beautiful. Beautiful. It's called Time for Home. It's a special limited edition by Chow Bella. And I hope that you enjoyed this walkthrough of the paper. And you know what I'm going to say. Stay well, be safe. God bless you all. And bye for now.